This has been a very interesting week for AI and tech. Creators no longer have to spend hours dressing up and posing for pictures because Hicksfield Soul ID can literally generate realistic pictures for your Instagram. Denmark will now allow people to copyright their face and voice to protect themselves from AI deepfakes. Tesla opened its first showroom on the 15th of July in Mumbai. Instagram users report getting DMs from celebrities as Meta tests AI chatbots that initiate conversations. The question is, have we gone too far? Is this the best use of an artificially intelligent system that's capable of diagnosing diseases, writing code, and even discovering new materials? Because most of you might dismiss this as a gimmick, but what about those who engage in these conversations and even start to form emotional bonds with these chatbots? Welcome to the Cutting Edge School enabled by the Zero One Network by Zerodha. I am Devanshi and you're watching the Cutting Edge News. Hicksfield launched Soul ID that can generate Instagrammable pictures of you. How this works is you upload a picture on Hicksfield. The platform will now generate your character. You can upload 20 to 25 photos in different angles, moods and lights. Once the model has been generated, you can choose from 60 plus presets and just replace the model with you. Lottie Files released a Figma plugin that turns static designs into smooth animations. You can drop your Figma frame into the plugin in hit generate and it will give you multiple animation ideas in seconds. You can also direct the animation using a text prompt in the AI chat box and the plugin will rewrite the motion. Once you are done, you can save and export it for demos or post it on social media. VO3's image to video feature is now available on the Gemini app. Google's VO3 has been live for just two months and has already produced more than 40 million videos. It is now incredibly easy for you to generate professional ads and videos without having to hire a production crew or build expensive sets. This is the future of content creation. Take a look at this ad generated completely using AI. If history has taught us anything, it's not to root against the underdog. Right, Peter? No spoilers. The British are coming! It pays to know what's coming. Check the group chat! To chart your own course. I'm sure that's nothing. Because the one in a million long shot can work. When the whole world picks Goliath, you know it's going to be David. Every great leap began with a bold first step, and there's no shortage of second chances. Against impossible odds, you don't stand out. You swing first. In fact, we have released a detailed tutorial on how you can use VO3. I'll put the link in the description. Tesla opened its first showroom at Mumbai's Bandra Kula complex. The catch is that Tesla currently does not have an assembly plant in India, which means that all cars will be imported from the US and China and will have a 70% import duty. So Model Y, which usually costs about 28 lakhs, will cost about 60 lakhs in India. Earlier this year, Tesla was in talks to open an assembly plant in Satara, Maharashtra but there hasn't been a confirmed update yet. This showroom is an experience center and is located very close to Apple's first physical store in India and Tesla is already planning a second showroom in Delhi. Denmark will now allow its citizens to copyright their facial features and voice to protect themselves from AI deepfakes. This means that all Danish citizens can now demand the removal of their face from AI videos and get compensation for unauthorized usage. Platforms that violate this law will have to pay heavy fines. This is a step forward in the right direction because earlier, people could identify a real video from a fake one. But as AI gets better, it's getting harder to spot that difference. And this law gives people more control and authority against deepfakes. The issue is, currently this law only applies in Denmark. So anyone can create and post a deepfake from another country. To solve this issue, the government needs to implement cross-border pacts so that no one can take advantage of this loophole and run automatic deepfake detection tech across all platforms so such content is automatically flagged. 
chat gpt is testing a new feature called study together although there is no official announcement some people have reported seeing this feature on the platform ever since ai has become accessible to the public the education industry has been worried about students using ai to do their assignments this feature aims to solve that by introducing a study together mode where instead of answering question it will ask questions and guide students to find the answers themselves the thing is students are not the only ones using it to do their work professors too have been using ai to peer review research papers using ai so researchers are now writing hidden ai prompts in research papers to influence ai to give a good review in a report by nikki asia 17 research papers were found with hidden ai prompts written in white text or small fonts the prompts instructed ai to give a positive review only this makes me think if students are using ai to write their papers and professors are using ai to check these papers what is the point of such assignments this proves that the education industry needs to change their assignments and teaching methods to adapt to the post ai world meta launched instagram chatbots that message you first it's no secret that social media algorithms are designed to keep you hooked on the platform but is this too far meta is working on training customizable chatbots to reach out to users and follow up on any past conversations the ai chatbots will only send follow ups within 14 days after a user initiates a conversation and if the user has sent at least 5 messages to the bot within that time frame meta says the chatbots won't keep messaging if there's no response to the first follow up the thing is it's possible for people to forget reality and form emotional connections with ai chatbots take their advice and even reveal personal information which is accessible to anyone running that ai chatbot this means that any scammer can take advantage of you so as a user you need to be extremely careful and make sure that you and everyone in your family is careful of these bots youtube announced that ai videos will now not be eligible for monetization starting 15th july youtube will need creators to produce original content featuring real voices to qualify for monetization this means that ai generated videos reused content or low effort compilations will no longer be eligible for monetization this aims to discourage people from cluttering the platform by posting automated content and supporting creators who produce unique creative and authentic content youtube is also getting rid of its trending page and trending now list by doing this they are moving away from a single list view and are categorizing videos based on topics and displaying the popular videos on youtube charts this is because youtube has grown a lot since its launch and back then it was a place for beginner videos and creators but today it's a place for professional content by creators and media houses which has created the need for category specific charts youtube has announced separate pages for trending music videos weekly top podcast shows and trending movie trailers with more categories launching in the future the co-founder of twitter jack dorsey has launched a new messaging app that allows users to communicate without internet or cell network this platform is called bitchat and is built over bluetooth mesh networks that can relay messages through nearby devices in the 300 meter range bitchat was launched in beta testing through apple test flight and quickly reached the 10000 user limit the app is under review and if all goes well it will be open to release on the app store interestingly he developed the app in one weekend using a wipe coding tool called goose blocks ai coding assistant we've made a complete tutorial on how you can learn to wipe code using lovable i'll put the link in description perplexity launched a new agentic browser called comet This will be a direct challenge to Chrome who currently holds 2/3 of the global market. The founder of Perplexity, Arvind Srinivas, tweeted about how he reached out to Chrome to offer Perplexity as a default search engine option a long time ago, and they refused. So they decided to build their own browser called Comet. Comet is agentic, so instead of searching and clicking through websites yourself, you can get summarized information through the browser, compare products, schedule meetings, 
send emails and set shortcuts for repetitive tasks. Comet is currently available only to users who subscribe to Perplexity's $200 per month premium plan. Wider access will be given through invites later this year. In similar news, OpenAI 2 is planning to launch an AI-powered browser. This agentic browser is being built on Chromium, Google's open-source browser framework that also powers Microsoft Edge and Opera. It will be able to book reservations, fill out forms, or complete purchases directly on behalf of the user. XAI released Grok 4 and it's being called the smartest AI model yet. It's accessible through a $300 per month AI subscription plan called Super Grok Heavy. Check it out. Grok 4 is postgraduate, like PhD level in everything. Better than PhD, but like most PhDs would fail. So it's better to say, I mean, at least with respect to academic questions, it, it, I want to just emphasize this point. With respect to academic questions, Grok 4 is better than PhD level in every subject, no exceptions. Reports say that it's already acting like AGI, which is artificial general intelligence. It's basically a kind of AI that has the ability to understand, learn and apply its intelligence to any intellectual task just like how a human would. Elon Musk announced that Grok 4 will soon be integrated into Tesla vehicles as soon as next week. In other news, Google is hiring the CEO and co-founder of Windsurf and bringing them onto the Google DeepMind team to focus on agentic coding. And interestingly, Google will not have any ownership in Windsurf but will take a non-exclusive license to some of Windsurf's tech. AWS is launching an AI agent marketplace with Anthropic as one of its partners at the AWS Summit to allow startups to directly offer their AI agents to AWS customers. Japan breaks internet speed records by reaching 1.02 petabits per second, which could download the entire Netflix library in under a second. Dyson has built a massive robot-powered system to grow strawberries in the UK. This setup uses AI-driven robots that only pick ripe fruits. Public Instagram posts will now be visible on browser search results. This includes posts, captions and reels that will now have the potential to be more visible through SEO from 10th July. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful and if there are any other topics you'd like us to cover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload the next video. We hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. My name is Devanshi and I'll see you in the next episode of the Cutting Edge News enabled by Zero One Network by Zero Thar. If you want to learn more about building AI agents, this playlist will teach you everything from scratch.